Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. I have so many new house updates. I have so much new makeup here to try. So today is going to be a combination of everything. But first and foremost, I have to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all of the congratulations and the well wishes and just the incredible advice that you have been pouring into the comment section of my last video. To say that our first official week as homeowners has been overwhelming is an understatement, but we certainly feel all of the love, all of the good energy that you've been sending our way, and we need every last drop. I was gonna make a joke about going on a 30-year no-buy for our 30-year mortgage, but I actually did cave recently, and I picked up just a few new things from Sephora that caught my eye, including these two new Makeup by Mario blushes. These are the Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veils, and I picked up Pinch Me Pink and Perfect Pink. These look so beautiful, I could not resist. I do love most of the Makeup by Mario products, including the new foundation, which I think I might use today. But I figured we would put this to use. It really is the year of blush, particularly creams and liquids. I swear all of these brands conspired against us to all release new blush formulas. I also picked up this new NARS Afterglow Liquid Blush. I went with the shade Orgasm, but then they did send me a little PR package with all of the shades. So I think I'll probably swatch all of them for you. And finally, I picked up a couple shades from the new Tom Ford Summer Collection. This is the Soleil de Feu Balm. And I also have the Soleil de Feu Highlighter. There are two shades and I picked up O2 Oasis. There's a gold and a copper. And I went with the more bronzy copper. This is probably not going to be best suited for my face, but I figured I would use this for the body. I already have plenty of highlighters for, for the face anyways. I don't think pictures do it justice. It's even more beautiful in person than it is in photos. It's actually not as dark as I thought it was going to be either. And it looks like the Tom Ford logo in the center might have an overspray. It's a little sparkly in the center. So pretty. Definitely a color that's going to be best suited for deeper skin tones. For me, I'm just going to do a light dusting on the shoulder. For summer, oh, this is bronze goddess. And I love the packaging. This is so pretty. I picked up shade 02 Sunspark. There are two shades. There's a gold and this really pretty coral color. This is so stunning. Looks like it has a little bit more pigment than they usually do. And the camera never really does it justice. It's so sparkly and pretty. It doesn't stay super sparkly. I am going to be a little annoying since I'm just now taking it out of the box. I wanted to at least show you, but this was maybe $60 for a lip balm. I have to properly document it. So I am going to take some pictures and some videos first, but I will definitely insert some swatches so you can see the color. The only thing I have on my face right now is moisturizer and I am going to go in with this Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation and this is the shade 11N. It's so pretty for summer. I thought it was going to be really dewy and maybe too luminous for me, but it's not. It's really nice. It looks very skin-like and it has a pretty medium buildable coverage. I just picked up any clean brush I could find. This is from Laura Geller. It's just the Laura Geller foundation brush. I'm gonna start in the center points of the face and blend out. Kind of think this should be the perfect base beneath the new blush. And I'm gonna try the new Makeup by Mario on one side and I'm gonna try the new NARS on the other because I do think even though they're very different, one's cream, one's liquid, they're probably going to give a similar effect. I think. We will test my hypothesis and find out. So let's talk house updates because there have been many. I'm happy to report that closing day went really smooth. We had a couple hiccups in the morning, but nothing crazy. I think it's probably always a pretty stressful day, but we made it through unscathed and we signed all of our paperwork. The following day we picked up the keys and then by the next morning I already had a contractor out at the house to take a look at everything because there were a few issues with the floors. Nothing major. We are planning to take most everybody's advice which was to not get into any major renovations or projects right away, to live in the home for at least a year before deciding to make any major changes. I think that is smart. We have no plans to decorate everything immediately and go crazy. But because there were a few issues, there were some warped floorboards upstairs. We thought 
might as well take advantage of this time that we don't have furniture in the house to go ahead and just refurbish the floors. They're original wood, so they look really great. They're in great condition, but I didn't love the stain. It was very warm, orangey yellow color. We would have needed to replace the damaged panels anyway, and I think updating the color palette is going to breathe so much life into the house. So instead of the really warm orangey yellow floors paired with the beige walls where everything just reflects yellow, everything looked much older than it even is. So I think a fresh coat of paint, fresh floors is just going to bring the house back to the 21st century, it's going to look so much more modern. It's been a while since I've used the Very Valentino concealer, and since we don't have a Makeup by Mario concealer yet, I'm gonna go ahead and use this today. It's pretty medium coverage as well, so I think it should work nicely together. I got the quote from the contractor. I went to the apartment complex, got an extension so we could stay two more weeks. And I thought this is perfect. Everything is coming together so nicely. We'll stay at the apartment for a couple more weeks. They'll finish the floors. We can paint everything and then we'll move in at our leisure. That is no longer the case. Yesterday, we heard from the apartment complex that they made a mistake. Turns out there's somebody who's moving into our apartment and we have to be out even earlier. We bargained and negotiated as much as we possibly could. So I think we should have the floors done. Well, we definitely will have the floors done, but we will not have the paint complete before we move in, which is fine. It's not ideal, but I think that's just life. Of course, it wasn't going to end up completely perfect. Moving is never very exciting or fun, but I think I'm actually happy that we're going to be at the house a little bit sooner than expected. That way we can just get over there. We can just start life over there. The sooner we get everything moved in, the sooner we can be back to some form of normal. The worst part of moving is the disruption to the routine. So I talked to the movers today. I updated the plans again for probably the fourth or fifth time. They probably want to kill me, but we are on the book. So everything is scheduled and I think it will be good. There might be other things that come up, other obstacles, but we're just gonna get through it. I'm gonna pop up some photos so you can see what the floors and the walls look like before. And I'll also include some of my inspiration pictures. That's been a lot of fun scrolling through Pinterest, trying to see what the possibilities are. And now that it's our house, the possibilities are endless. I have a vision in my mind. Hopefully we can bring it to life. We want to complement the Spanish style of the house. We don't want to get rid of all of the warmth, all of the warm tones, because that's what we originally fell in love with is the coziness, the cozy feel when you step inside. But I think by introducing some neutral colors as well, it will really help. It needed a little balance. And even though we're not planning to touch anything else like the kitchen right away, those two changes, the floors and the walls are going to make such a huge difference. I cannot wait until that part is complete. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the new Makeup by Mario blushes. This is Pinch Me Pink. The pan is a lot larger than I thought it was going to be. I don't know why in photos this looked pretty small. I was shocked when I saw how big it is. Feels very balmy. Ooh, very creamy, a lot of slip, but definitely more on the light side. I love the color. That is really pretty. And basically all of the product came off my finger whenever I swatched it. Let's try Perfect Pink. Perfect Pink is more of that true Barbie pink. It's beautiful. But yeah, the swatches are interesting. The formula is interesting. I wonder how long lasting it's going to be. And then just for fun, I'm also going to swatch this NARS Afterglow Liquid Blush in the shade Orgasm. The original liquid blushes from NARS were so pigmented, you only needed a teeny tiny bit. And it was a product that went viral kind of later on, but it did gain a lot of popularity. I don't know why they changed it. I think the original was really nice. Yeah, see this kind of seems like the liquid version of the Mario. See, it blends out, but it's still very light. This is NARS Orgasm. I'm going back into the Pinch Me Pink. Hmm, the shade really isn't the same. I thought maybe. 
it would be close. I would say these are very comparable formulas though, based on the swatch. Yeah, I mean, they're similar. Both are very sheer. They feel like they have a lot of slip to them. This is the NARS. This is the Makeup by Mario. The only thing I have on right now is foundation concealer. I'm gonna skip powder for now, and I'm gonna skip bronzer because I don't want anything to change how we feel about this color. So on this side, I am going to apply the Makeup by Mario in Pinch Me Pink. And I am using a rougher four brush. I think I'm gonna love it. It also seems like the type of blush that you could probably just apply with your finger. Beautiful. It reminds me of one of the Colfi blushes, actually. The color and everything. The color, the formula, it's pretty comparable. <gasps> I love that it still has a little bit of a glow, but not a sheen. There's no shimmer. It's just that balmy finish so that it looks like skin. Ooh, the color is so pretty. Very bridal, ethereal. I'm gonna start with three dots. Very pretty. Blends out easily. I think I picked up a little bit more product with the brush on this side. Let me add a little more. I'm not gonna skimp this time. <laughs> Because I think both you could blend out to be very natural if you're not careful. Depending on how much blush you like, you might not like a bold cheek. I actually think the NARS is even lighter, even more natural, and both are natural. I would say similar finish, similar look. I don't know why I like this one more. I think I just applied a lot on this side just so we could see it. Hmm. <laughs> I really like them both. If you like something that is still a little bit buildable and will give you a little bit more color, I would say the Mario has a little bit more pigment, but still they're, they're very similar. I'm still playing around with the new Chanel cream bronzer, so I'm going to go in with my 392 Soleil Tan Medium Bronze. I really love this formula. It feels really buttery, a little bit more like a silicone primer. It doesn't really feel oily. I never thought the other one felt too oily, but they slip in a different way. You can kind of feel there is a difference. I'm still getting used to my makeup. It looks so different because I changed my hair this week as well. I was getting kind of sick of watching my highlights grow out and they were looking a little bit chunky and a little bit too caramel for my liking and I figured I should go with something a little bit lower maintenance so I just did a toner it will probably lighten up as I wash it but for now it's more of a brunette bronze. I don't even know if you would consider this bronze. it's really brunette I think this is the darkest I've been in a long time which I like it's my natural color but it's just taking me a moment to really get used to it it feels like a season of change. I don't know, I was inspired to do something different. Because I've been running around so much this week, running errands, cleaning, laundry, picking things up, I haven't really been wearing a lot of makeup. And you know when you change your hair or you do something drastic and you don't really take the time to get ready and do your makeup, you start to panic and question yourself and regret your decision. It's kind of how I've felt. I think the hair will grow on me, but I really need to just do my makeup, see myself with the hair and a proper full face so I can feel glamorous. See now with the bronzer, because the blush is so light, it kind of disappears into the bronzer. I'm glad I did blush first. I might go back and try to add more. It's just a more natural look that you're going to achieve with the blush. Whether you like that or not, if you prefer something that's really pigmented, if you're somebody who wants that pop, you want color, I don't think either of these formulas is gonna be right for you. You're better off going with something else. Just because it's new, don't be blinded by the new. Wait for something that you really love because if you're drawn to pigment and you want something powerful, 
this isn't it. If you like something that's really, really light, more of an emollient, barely there, soft wash of color, barely noticeable, then I think you will really like it. I'm picking up a little perfect pink and I'm gonna try layering this and see what happens. That shows up a lot more. Whoop, yep, there we go. I'm gonna add it to this side. I'm just kind of playing around today and experimenting. I like it still very natural, but now I can see a little bit more of that blush, the flush. And it looks so good with the foundation. Mario knows what he's doing. All of his products just work together. First impression of the NARS and Makeup by Mario blushes, I really like them. I think the colors are super soft and flattering. It's definitely a natural look. I'm not sure either of these formulas is really earth shattering, groundbreaking. You have to rush out and purchase every single shade. I think you could probably wait for a Sephora savings event, but I do think they're very pretty something that you'd probably get a lot of use out of over the summer. I wanna keep playing around with them. I wanna see how they last on the face. I also have this new powder here that was sent over from Makeup Forever. It came in this really cute bag. It looks like we have two shades. Oh no, they sent over two and three, medium and tan. That's not gonna work. <laughs> I need something really light. We might as well unbox it and see what it looks like. Ooh, this is so interesting. I guess they took inspiration from the Givenchy powder that has different compartments, little quads. I'm not sure if you can really see what's going on. I'm not sure I can really see what's going on and I'm looking at it. So the bottom twists and then the powder comes out the bottom and then you have the center part, which I do like that you have a little area where you can swirl the brush. This is kind of cool. I think the twist part is a little bit unnecessary. This I like, this is kind of nice. It doesn't have four, it's not the quad like the Givenchy, it's only three shades. You have a beige, a green, and a peach. It's kind of a teal, which I guess is meant to color correct. It's not like you can control, or at least I don't think you can control how much of each shade comes out. So I'm not sure it's really necessary to separate them, but I do really like the Makeup Forever HD powders. The powder itself is great. It looks very airbrushed, very finely milled. You can barely see it. And I can use the medium to set the rest of my face, but I'll go in with something a little bit lighter underneath the eye. I went ahead and filled in my eyebrows. They're looking a little bit dark at the moment, it's giving Groucho marks. I'm gonna attempt to apply a little bit of this highlighter to the cheek just to see what happens. And if nothing else, I'm going to apply it on the lid. So I have this, what is this? Oh, I think it's an Iconic London brush. We'll see. I hate to mess it up. Eee. Oh, you know what? It's pretty light. This is the darker of the two, or at least it looks darker. I guess it's gold versus copper. The gold looks really yellow. I'm not a huge fan. And I have some highlighters that are kind of a goldeny yellow color from Guerlain that I think are really pretty, but I don't know. I didn't really like the photo of the gold. It's not too dark. Mm. It's not the best, but it still works. It's not giving that really dark cast whenever I turn out of the light and when I turn into the light, it's really reflective. It's pretty soft. 
I thought it might be really coppery, like really, really bronze, and it's not. It is so pretty. I love Tom Ford highlighters. The cheek looks wet. Very pretty. Ooh, yay. I thought I was only going to be able to use this on the body, but I think I can definitely use this on the face. I like it on the face. I have to enjoy every moment of this glam because it's probably the last time I'm going to have a lot of makeup on for a while. This weekend, we will be in packing mode. Packing, organizing. If you could see how cluttered this room is right now, I'm not taking this clothing rack with me. I need to go through the closet. I really enjoy getting rid of stuff, so that I'm looking forward to. Just taking the time to go through everything. And then I've already started on the living room. This is it. We no longer have as much time as we originally thought, so everything is getting boxed up. We're gonna take as much over there as we possibly can, and then the movers will help us with the big furniture pieces. I was planning to do the empty house tour, and in my mind I thought, oh, we're gonna have so much time, I'll wait until the floors are done, the walls are painted and it's fresh, and then I'll do the empty house tour. Hindsight is 2020. looking back, now I should have taken the opportunity to go ahead and show you inside. Either way, I will definitely give you the tour, it will probably not be an empty house tour, it will be a cluttered house tour. I wanted to pop a little bronzer in the crease, so I just pulled out this Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector. I picked up the shade Light. It's actually a little bit too light for me, but that's okay. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this in the crease. The Tom Ford highlighter gave us a little something on the lid. But then I just want a little crease color, and then that's basically it. Besides house stuff, I do have another update to share with you. Unfortunately, I will not be part of the 2023 Sephora squad that I believe they're going to announce early June. Maybe in another week or so, we'll know the new team, which I am really excited. That's one thing I'm looking forward to because I saw the finalists. They all look incredible. So many new creators that I'm discovering for the first time. Amazing selection. So whenever they announce the final squad, I'm going to be stalking everybody. The level of talent is incredible. So many amazing makeup artists. There are a lot of perfume and skincare creators, a lot of great hairstylists. They are amazing. But they did start an alumni program this year, so I am glad that I will be continuing on my journey with Sephora. So I will still be partnering a lot with Sephora, but as a Sephora squad alumni instead of being on the current squad. And I think it's time. I did go ahead and apply this year just because I figured I would throw my name in the hat and see what happens. I never want to take an opportunity from myself. You know, let them choose somebody else and go in a different direction, but I don't want to steal my own opportunities. So I did apply. I didn't really push it because I kind of thought in the back of my head, okay, you've been on the squad for three years. Maybe it's time to move on. You know, I want as many people as possible to have the experience that I had. I think it's a really incredible program. I'm still really gonna miss everybody. I've made so many incredible lasting friendships through the Sephora squad, but it will be cool to sort of cheer on the new creators from the sidelines. And now that they have the alumni program, they're just expanding the family. It's just getting bigger and bigger every year, so you still get to be a part of it. I'm still working on a ton of campaigns at the moment, but it gives other creators a voice and a platform, and we get to celebrate other people, which is amazing. For me, the best part of being on Sephora Squad for the past three years, it hasn't been the connections or the PR, the gratis, even the trips. As incredible and amazing as the trips have been and the campaigns, it's really just meeting other people in the field and those those personal connections and those friendships that you make. Because most of the time, I'm sitting in this room, I'm filming, I'm editing, and there are days that I speak to my husband and that's about it. And I don't really have a lot of 
human interaction outside of just my immediate family. So it can be very isolating. Some people don't mind that they're very introverted or they just prefer to kind of work alone, do their own thing. And I am the complete opposite. I am more social. I love meeting new people and talking to people. And that's what charges my battery and gives me energy, just feeding off of others. One of the friends I made this year was Marcella. Her username is Mexican but Japanese. She is an amazing creator, follower if you don't already. Her videos are great. Her reviews are incredible. She's gorgeous to look at, but even more beautiful on the inside, just a pure soul. And it's so refreshing to meet people like that where you have an instant connection and a true friendship. So when she was traveling through Miami recently, we got together, we went to lunch, we shopped around a little bit. It's been a great way to make friends and she's based in New York. So I know that if I'm ever traveling to New York, she's somebody that I would reach out to and try to meet up with. That's it for the eyes. I wanted to keep it really soft, simple. I'm more interested in more natural, really easy, get out the door and 15 minutes max makeup looks lately for obvious reasons, but I kind of like it. I think it looks really pretty. I still did eyeliner, still did, you know, all the steps. It's just not a really dramatic look. It's something more every day. And then I have one last product for lips. This is from the Fenty Summer Collection. It's the Fenty Icon Summertime Collection. There we go. It's the Fenty Icon, the case, summertime. And then the little refill that I added is the Miss Candy Venom. It looks like a really pretty fuchsia pink, which works or should work pretty nicely with this look since it won't compete with anything. I went ahead and added the lipstick. So this is the case. It's pink and red and then you just kind of twist and then this is the refill. I love the fact that she's doing refillable packaging. This is awesome. I know I like the Fenty lip glosses. I'm not sure if I've ever tried a Fenty lipstick. So let's see. Ooh, yeah, that's pink. Really creamy. got carried away. Oh, is it matte? It's fun to have a pop of color on the lips. And then you can always apply your gloss balm on top if you like shine like I do. It's a pretty color. It looks messy right now. <laughs> it's a really pretty color, especially if you're wearing like all white, all black, something very neutral, really light eyes kind of fresh skin and then the pop on the lip I think is really pretty. This is my favorite gloss balm. It's Fussy. I also really like the Heat. I think it's called Lemon. Oh yes. I need gloss. I have one last box to share with you. This is my final Sephora squad package. Well, for now. It says, our squad is all grown up and they included some of the new hot products. They always include these personalized stickers, which I've held onto every single little sticker pack. So I will add this. And there was a note that just said, we're excited for the alumni program. It's been a great year and they threw in some really great things, including this Nest New York Madagascar Vanilla Candle. I'm having a moment with Nest candles. They're all over the house. I'm so excited to light these in our new place. We definitely need some home fragrance in there. It's a bit musty at the moment. <laughs> they also included the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Triple Lipid Collagen Eye Treatment. I love this stuff, great. I will have a backup. Currently using that eye cream. This is from House Labs. It's the Le Monster Lip Crayon in the shade Maple Matte. I have Peach Matte is really pretty. This maple looks like a deep nude. I'll have to open that up. That might be a really nice fall lipstick color. Here is the Isle of Paradise Body Confidently Clear Body Moisturizer. So it has lactic, polyglutamic, mandelic, and hyaluronic acids 
to reduce the appearance of body blemishes and smooth skin. Ooh. We have some Sephora Collection lip balms. You can never have too many lip balms. The last two items in my final Sephora Squad package, well, final package as a member of the Sephora Squad, is this Amika Mirror Ball High Shine Shampoo and Conditioner. Mmm, smells good. I really like the Amika styling products. I don't know if I've ever tried the shampoo and conditioner, but I love anything that's high shine, antioxidant protecting. Sounds really great. Looks like the bottle might have leaked a little bit because the black tissue paper got all over the place, but that's okay. There's still plenty of product inside. Sephora has always been incredibly generous with the squad, so this is an amazing final touch. It's a little bittersweet. I'm so excited to try all these new products, excited to see the new 2023 squad, but it is truly the end of an era. So many changes happening this year. That completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked hearing my thoughts on these products and listening to my updates. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be listed down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.